So pregnant women are more vulnerable because their immune system is down. Uh, basically, when you have the baby in your body, your immune system goes down as to not attack it. And because your immune system is down, you're more likely to get sick or have a harder time fighting infection. Most pregnant women, like the general population, will do very well if they get COVID. Most will have either asymptomatic or very mild disease. However, we know that there is a threefold increase in ICU admission if you're pregnant compared to the non-pregnant and a 1.57 fold increase in, in death. So now that might sound high, but really the number of deaths in ICU for people in, in the age bearing uh, you know, range are really, really low. But because there is an increased risk, we recommend you know, the mitigation strategies that are given for the general population, wear a mask, wash your hands or sanitize, uh, physically distance from others, try to avoid big crowds. So all the measures that are given for others, we recommend for pregnant women. Yes, there have been some studies. So we know that the, the transmission rate to, to newborns is very, very low. Um, so to get it from a, you know, a mom to give it to her baby in utero and deliver and have a positive newborn is very, very low. However, the great thing that we're seeing from recent studies is that if mom had COVID, there's a high chance that the immunoglobulins pass down to the baby. So the baby has antibodies. And the uh, really reassuring thing about that is if moms who had the disease were able to pass antibodies to the baby, then hopefully moms who also get the vaccine will pass that to the baby. So far, we're seeing that pregnant women can get it safely. We're seeing that from animal studies and from women who have gotten the vaccine. Unfortunately, pregnant women weren't included in the clinical trials, but we know that the disease of COVID can increase your risk of ICU admission and of death. From the vaccine, we haven't seen complications. So at this time, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, which is for high-risk pregnancies, are both recommending the vaccine. Now it's, you know, it's it, as long as it's something the patient wants, some patients want to talk with their physician. Of course, nothing is required, but if a pregnant woman would like the vaccine, especially if she's in a high risk setting, if she's a healthcare provider, or if she has medical comorbidities, um, then it definitely is something that they should consider. So as far as we know, COVID does not impact female fertility. Um, neither does the vaccine from everything that we know so far. There have been some studies that showed um, that men are having something that's called orchitis or some, some um, swelling in the, in the testicles and there's some inflammation that is affecting their sperm, but we don't know that that's long-term. Okay, with a lot of viruses, our body inflames and then goes back to normal. So, so far there's nothing that's showing infertility uh, because of COVID-19.